on March 16, 1792. The first country to officially abolish slavery was Denmark. I know that many people might argue that slavery was abolished in the United States on December 6, 1865. If you search for this information on Google, it will likely show the United States at the top. However, if you delve deeper into research, you will find that the USA is not the first. Denmark holds that distinction. The USA is a powerful country and when changes occur within it, the effects are felt worldwide. Thanks to the influence of the United Nations, this is why any significant event in the USA becomes highly prominent, with second and third world countries often following suit. But have we truly become free? Can we consider ourselves free individuals? This is the topic of our video today. Let's discuss whether we have indeed achieved freedom and can consider ourselves free individuals. If you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. We regularly bring you fantastic videos and your support truly motivates us. Let's start the video. Women start complaining with picket boards is a demonstration. If masculine youth get together, it's a revolution. Then you're dangerous because you don't even have a country. Mm, correct. All of them. So let's let's continue. So I have the number one demographic the Matrix needs to saw off. One, because of the revolutionary thing. Two, because they're the backbone of the slave force. You need them to build the roads. You need them to do the real work for low pay. So they do the worst, hardest jobs for the shittest money. And they're the most depressed and most unhappy. And the women don't want to date them because they ain't got a Lambo. And they're sitting there depressed and unhappy, working their ass off, paying their taxes. You You need those men psyoped. You don't want me coming along saying there's another way. Many women are against Andrew Tate, perhaps because he often speaks strongly. If he discusses issues like women's protest being demonstration and the young masculine youth's protest as a revolution, it might offend some women. I think there might be a better term for such discussions that doesn't offend women. Another point is that the Matrix is still making us slaves, possibly in an advanced or updated form of slavery. We may not know its details, but even if you disagree with Andrew Tate, his words make people think. As long as the world exists, employees will continue to come. Many people take pride in government jobs and pass on this mindset to future generations. Changing this mindset is a long journey. But one thing is certain, having your own business is better than anything else. Whether your business is small or large, it is yours. You set the rules, you have your ways, you provide jobs and you collaborate with others. No one can achieve anything alone in this world. When scaling up to a higher level, but maintain the mindset Andrew Tate suggests because it increases your chances of success. What do you think about this video? Share your thoughts in the comments and if you liked the video, be sure to hit the like button. Take care.